Yeah, as we've been singing this chorus of, it just feels like a war cry to me that right now we are standing as spiritual parents for our sons and daughters of this generation. And while we are just worshiping, I was reminded of 1 Kings 18 when Elijah stood beside the false prophets of Baal. And he says he's the one honest man of God in hundred, like 450 false prophets. Yet he is bold enough to stand and say, my Lord will defeat your gods. And so I just want to read from the end of 1 Kings 18 and then pray into it as we go back into this chorus. But I want you to picture this generation. This feels like a war cry against the false prophets that have been speaking to our sons and daughters for too long. So it says in 1 Kings 18, 37, Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust, and he looked up the water that was in the trench. And when the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. And so right now, Lord, we stand boldly before your throne. It may feel right now, Lord, that the men of God are few, but right now we say our God is God. Our God is Lord. And right now, God, in this season of fasting and praying, right now we lay our sacrifices before you for you to come and burn up like the wood that you burn up for Elijah on that day. And right now, God, we ask that you would silence the voice of false prophets over this generation. Right now, I'm spiritual mothers and fathers we say lord would you come and do a new thing would you shut the trap of the lion that is attacking this generation and lord right now we ask would you bring signs and wonders for this generation to see and profess that you are lord you are god and would we hear this song rise from this generation in jesus name Jesus. 
So come, so come.